Hello faithful viewers, um, we've now reached Rosa, episode 3 of series 11 on my rewatch ahead of the new series starting in the UK and around the world on New Year's Day. Looking at Rosa today, written by Mallory Blackman, this is an episode that still stands up very well, dealing with a very important political theme, the creation of the civil rights movement and how Rosa Parks' actions led to the progression of that. Um, just a superb story again all round. I thought the same thing on first viewing. Some great performances. Um, a very poignant look at issues of racism back then. We get that horrific early scene with Brian being struck by a man because he's only helped a, a white lady uh, pick up a glove she's dropped on the floor. That was a pretty powerful, heart-hitting effort after a slightly jolly trip in the TARDIS at the beginning. Um, so we get some wonderful scenes with Ryan and Yaz talking about racism and how things change and how we have a black president within the next 50 years. And sadly, looking at the world at the moment, it seems to be uh, regressing from these from these progressions that we've made. Um, yeah, just character wise, I want to talk about Ryan. Um, he's given a lot more to do in this episode. He's almost like a sort of giddy fanboy when he meets Martin Luther King. That's wonderfully written, uh, written part of the episode. Um, the lady, Vinette Robinson, playing Rosa, was absolutely striking and uh, sort of a very serious tone put in the episode, which, in counterbalance, could have a bit of uh, wackiness to it with the whole idea of Cresco, who I didn't really like at the time, but um, I appreciate him more within, more within the episode now, and it's going back to the uh, original Hartnell series of Doctor Who and the idea of being able to mess about with time and basically make horrific changes but that's ultimately counterbalanced at the end with the Doctor and the Team Tardis having to stay absolutely still and make history uh, take its own course as we know it has and uh, hopefully did change things for the better although I just mentioned again we've regressed a little bit in, uh, in political aspects over the last few years so an important timely story this one I want to talk about Sagan Akinola's score um very very evocative of the time lots of sort of brass section and uh evocative of american ins institutions at the time and into that wonderful uh wonderful song over the end credits so i think i'd still score this as a 10 to be honest and uh, we'll talk about episode four soon see you then <laughs> 